In addition to the preset colors of noise, the EMWM noise station also has a series of filters. And just to give an example of what they're all about, let's pick a name we already see over here, like silver or yellow. Yellow noise, as you remember, at a particular resonant peak at 7K, if I take the output of the yellow filter and run white noise into it, the output is the exact same as using the yellow noise source here, maybe with a little bit more low frequencies. So in other words, you can take another sound you create on your synth, another percussion sound, etc., run it through these filters and get the same general flavors of tones as the noise station is giving you if you just fed white noise through it. So that's yellow, here's silver, kind of what we would expect. <laughs> brown is a particularly interesting noise. It's not a brown note, but more of a low resonant peak, around 2.4K or so. This is the type of sound you quite often hear with um, rushing wind, hurricanes, that sort of thing. But again, you can patch any sound through it. And finally, there's this hi-hat filter. And it's just for really high frequencies, just the pure high end. And that resonant peak is at about 8.7, 8.8K or so. And again, you could patch your other things like a complex FM patch, etc., through these filters to put this noise character on any sound. Now, beyond these four preset filters, it has two generalized filters. This middle tone filter, again, I'm just going to put white noise through it. This unusual notch or shelving sort of action. Low frequency rolls off the high ends. High frequency. This gives us a high shelf, it gets rid of the low frequencies. Yeah, just a little bit of them are present, and we can get a mixture in between. Shape the tone to our taste. There's also a pair of very generalized audio style filters where we have separate control over the low and high frequencies. Again, I'll put white noise through there, flat response, cut the bass, boost the bass, very rumbly sound now, and do the same with the high frequencies. Really make it shrill, really emphasize that. I was seeing kind of a broadband boost there. Or cut the highs. You see, it's a very gradual slope and filter. It looks like about a one pole there. Now, you don't have to run noise through these equalizers. Of course, you can run your synthesizer through it. Right now, I have a fairly standard synth patch. And let's say I want to dress that up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this output and instead run the synth through first the tone control, and then we'll try the EQ later on. Take that output, run it into our output module. So already we have a little bit of a notch sound here. And we can change that character. Get something thinned out. roll off the highs and get a bassy sound. And then these EQs down here give us even more control over boosting the highs, really getting a bite out of it, rolling it down, and also boosting the bass. or rolling that off. 